Bria here from Etched Actuarial and in today's video I'm talking about something that's really really important for you because it's going to help you improve your chances of getting an actuarial job and really make sure you have the skills and experience that actuarial employers are looking for. Make sure you stay to the end because you are going to want to know everything that I talk about in this video. So you probably already know that I have a program called the Actuary Accelerator Community. And this is a place where I guide aspiring actuaries on exactly what they need to do to make sure they become in-demand actuarial candidates that have a really, really good chance of getting an actuarial job once they are through the whole course or, or the whole program. So in that program, I suggest that aspiring actuaries go and get what I call a stepping stone position. Now, a stepping stone position is a position that you work in for at least four months that gives you a lot of the experience and skills and knowledge that an actuarial employer is going to be looking for. And the best part is you can get these skills and experiences and this knowledge from a non-actuarial position. And that's what we are talking about today. That's what a stepping stone job is. It's a place where you get all this exposure to things that actuarial employers really care about without actually working in an actuarial position. Actuarial employers are looking for lots of different qualities and skill sets in their potential hires. For example, they love people that have presentation experience, data analytic experience, technical experience, data entry experience. If you can show your problem solving skills and your critical thinking skills, that's really good too. They'd love to have someone that has some financial background, banking experience, investing experience, or anything financial related. They'd love having someone with that kind of experience. If you have exposure to budgeting, that would be awesome too. Or if you have any experience with financial projects or pricing, scenario testing, anything like that. And I know these are a lot of things that could potentially be related to the actuarial career, but any of these things, if you have experience or exposure to them, it's going to help increase your chances of getting an actuarial job because it's hard to come across candidates that have these different types of exposure and also have exams passed and also have the technical skills and also want to pursue an actuarial career. So by getting these types of experiences and exposure to these skill sets and everything like that, before you even start applying to actuarial jobs, that's going to make you really stand out. So that was a ton of different skill sets and experiences that actuarial employers are looking for. And that's not all of them. There are tons and tons of different things that actuarial employers value. But the thing is here that you don't have to go into an actuarial position to get these skills. Like I said, you can get them in a stepping stone position. So let's talk about what some of these stepping stone positions could be. Now, usually I think it's more about the description of the job. You really have to look into the details of what your responsibilities would be, what you'd be doing day to day to really understand or get a sense of whether this would be a stepping stone position. But there are some jobs that tend to be like, it's pretty easy to say that they would be stepping stone jobs just based on their title. But again, it's really important to dig into the description just to make sure that the title of the job really aligns with what you expect to be doing in that position. So for example, an underwriter. An underwriter is someone that works really closely with actuaries usually. They're involved with a lot of insurance concepts. They're working with insurance policies all the time and they just have overall a lot of insurance knowledge and they are great people to move into actuarial roles just because they have so much experience with insurance and they have an in-depth knowledge of some of the actuarial concepts and stuff like that. So if you could get a stepping stone position as an underwriter or an underwriter assistant, then those could be really, really good stepping stone positions for you to gain exposure to all the things that we talked about earlier that actuarial employers are looking for. Some other examples might be a data analyst or a financial analyst or a risk analyst, maybe an accountant or a bookkeeper or really anything in finance or investments tends to be good. Or a lot of positions in insurance companies are really good too if you're getting a lot of exposure to insurance and starting to understand how it all works really well. Now, now, let me give you some examples. I talked a little bit about what I did to get my actuarial job in another video. I think it's called 
four things I did to get an actuarial job. I will link it up here or up here, wherever it goes. And you can get a better sense of what I did in these positions. But getting a stepping stone job for me was one of the big things that I did and it really helped me in getting an actuarial job. So one of my positions was a bookkeeper. So actually probably for about 15, maybe 20 years now, I have been helping my dad out in his welding business as a bookkeeper. So that means I'm responsible for paying all the bills. I create all the invoices. I'm responsible for determining how much tax we owe and paying the taxes. I'm responsible for all the communication involving bills and payments and everything like that. This position gave me a lot of exposure to different things like taxes. It gave me a lot of exposure to data entry. I was exposed to income statements and balance sheets. And these things really gave me an upper edge when I started to apply for actuarial internships, because these are things that a lot of people don't have exposure to. And because I had this bookkeeping job, it really gave me an upper edge. It gave me experience that other people didn't have. Another stepping stone position that I held was called a database or no, a hardware manager, something like that. And my job there, in, and this was in an insurance company, which was also beneficial, but my job here was to track where all the insurance company assets were. So this is things like computers, uh, laptops, telephones, cell phones, their servers, anything like that, that the company had and owned, it was my responsibility to keep track of where it all was because they had branches all across Canada. They had thousands of employees. And if we didn't have someone tracking where everything was, it would be really easy for employers to steal stuff or potentially just lose stuff. And we didn't, we wouldn't even know. Another good reason that we had to do this was because a lot of our assets were lent to us. They were on lease, which means we'd have to return them back to the leasing company and they'd give us new ones. So every three years we had to return assets back to the leasing company and we'd get new ones for three years and then we'd give them back. If we didn't know where all our assets were, then it would have been impossible for us to track down the laptops or the computers that had to go back on lease so that we could get new ones. So that was part of my job and it involved a lot of data entry. And like I said, I was working in an insurance company, which was nice because I was able to make connections with people that were in insurance related positions. And I even talked to a few actuaries in that role. So these two positions really helped me in getting my actuarial internship, which I talk about later. I actually had two actuarial internships and I've recorded a video about everything I did in those internships if you are interested. Again, I will link that up above. But yeah, I do truly believe that these positions gave me an upper hand because I had exposure to things that other candidates didn't have. And it's important to keep in mind that these don't have to be full-time jobs that you're doing. In my situation, I had one job that was a part-time position. I would do the bookkeeping job on Sundays. I still do it to this day. I go to my dad's every Sunday and I just do a couple hours of work, bookkeeping work to help him with his business because he doesn't have anyone that knows how to do that stuff right now. And personally, I enjoy doing it. So that's something I do still. And that is a part-time job it still really helped on my resume to get an actuarial position. Uh, my other position was an internship. The one I talked about, the hardware manager job, that was an internship. So that's totally fine. Or you can do a full-time job or even volunteer experience is perfectly fine as a stepping stone position. As long as you're actually doing these things for real companies and you can put it on your resume in the experience section, then it's going to be valuable for you to do. So in the Actuary Accelerator community, we have even more information about stepping stone positions. I have videos in there about how to create a really good resume that will make you stand out for those stepping stone positions. I also have tips and a whole video about how to do well on your interviews for stepping stone jobs and actuarial jobs. There is tons of information in there that will help you get a stepping stone job. Plus, Getting a stepping stone job is just one part of your actuarial journey. It's just one thing that you need to do in order to become an in-demand actuarial candidate. So if you wanna know everything you can do and exactly what order you should do it all in, then come join the Actuary Accelerator community. I would love to have you become a member. I will link to it right down below in the description. It really guides you step by step by step what you should be doing in order to make sure you are in demand by the time you start looking for actuarial positions. It makes sure you're doing everything now in the right order so that you are going to go apply to actuarial positions and be in a really good place to actually get them. I would love to have you join. Go check it out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.